This video is going to be fun because I'm going to be talking about my favorite subject that is physiology. So in this video, I'm going to be basically telling you about how to study physiology, what is physiology, how to study physiology, what are the books you should use for physiology, and how should you attempt the exam. So this video is like the the video that you need before you start preparing for physiology, before you start studying physiology. That is, if you are a first year student, at the start of first year watching this video, then this video is totally for you. Because this is the video that I wish I watched before I started first year MBS. So welcome. I am Rohit Pivyar, a third year medical student in Madhuri Medical College. And in this channel, I make videos about this, these sort of videos, academic MBBS sort of videos. And along with I also make videos about some productivity stuff, stories, some spirituality, all these cool, nice things. So if this sounds like a cup of tea, then do hit the subscribe button. Okay, let's start. So physiology, what is physiology? It is simply the study. I'm going to tell you in like very layman terms because the person who is watching this video, that is you, are most probably a first year student at the start of your journey. So I don't want to confuse you with like some random terms. This is going to be a very straightforward video. A discussion between a senior and a junior. That's it. Okay. <laughs> physiology is a study of normal happenings in your body. It's just as simple as that. For example, how does blood flow in your body? How does your skin sense the feeling of touch? How do you breathe? How does your lungs work? How does your heart work? And how does the heart send impulses throughout its system? How does the various sensory impulses throughout the body get into our brain? How does our brain sense this world? How does how do our eyes work? That's it. This is physiology. Like you are basically studying about how your own body functions. So I feel like physiology is a book that is basically the human manual. That is, it is just the manual. Like we have this, we have some instrument. We have to know how to use it, how it basically works, right? That is literally physiology. Once you read physiology. You will know how your body actually works. Okay, this is how urine is produced. This is how food is digested. This is how everything happens. This is how I talk. So all this, this is what you'll be studying in physiology. So I am very sure that you you already find physiology very interesting because it's actually very very interesting. It's fully conceptual. There's nothing like memorizing. The whole stuff is conceptual. For example, SA node sends some impulses. It gets into atria. Then the Impulse on the atria travels in the AV node, then everything. So this is just too good. Physiology is just amazing. So this is basically about physiology. Like, so physiology is a study of normal happenings in your body. I would recommend to you this one thing: don't study physiology as if you are like studying it as a subject. Study it completely as a user manual. Like, if you study that, this is how lungs work. Just imagine, okay, so this is how my lungs work. This is how. I can sense this feeling, so you like get more attachment to the book. Okay, now coming to the resource you should be using for physiology. Number one, guide. Don't get any other book, just buy guide. I am telling this, just buy guide. But I have been fooled by this. Let me tell you what I have been fooled by. Actually, there is this small guide book in India. That is this. I am not sure. Like this, this is the image of that small guide book. This is the book that I read from. But there is this bigger guide, like the 14th edition is currently available now. That is the guide you should actually be reading. But by mistake, I read this small book. Like the bigger book is this book is the Bible. This book is the Bible of guide. This is the like the Indian version, the smaller, the like concise version. So go to this book. I did the mistake of reading this book. Don't make the mistake that I read. Read this book. Complete this. Some it is around some thousand pages. But this will be totally interesting. Complete this thousand pages. That's it. The reason I am telling you is that some of my seniors are suggesting me to read this book now. That is during my third year. They are asking me to read this book because this is this book is like full of knowledge, full of gems. This book is nothing. This book is full of knowledge. Because once I was done with my first year, once I was done reading this book, I was like, okay, the concept is really amazing. Okay, fine. The concept of these books, this book is really amazing. But then it doesn't seem to really have a lot of content. The content is all that matters. Like, okay, fine. Concepts are interesting, fine. But you have some content also. I didn't really find a lot of content in this book. There is this other book called Assemblingham. In that book, there is like vast amount of content. There is like so much more, like four times, five times more than Guide. 
So that's like at the end of first year, I was like, okay, oh my god, I did a big mistake of studying Gaitan. I should have studied just Semburingam the whole time. But I all it was Gaitan. But then only now I realized that there is this bigger Gaitan, this 14th edition Gaitan that should, you should actually be reading. So buy this book, complete this in first year. Don't go to any other book. Because all these books, the G. K. Pal, all those all those books, right? Those books are having irrelevant information for your first year. Like you're not supposed to know about the various murmurs in the heart, the various examples of the murmurs in your heart, the various heart sounds, the various I mean, you should know the basic heart sounds, but how this particular heart sound is like created in this particular disorder. There's no need to learn all these in your first year. You'll be learning all this in detail in your fourth year. And if you're telling me that okay, I'll study in first year itself and I'll and I'll like upload everything into my brain. Okay, fine, you can upload everything in first year itself. But trust me when I say this, you won't remember a damn thing when you get into fourth year. So just trust me, buy this book, study this book. Very amazing. Okay, just, just trust me on this. So this is the book you should be using. So going to the next thing, how should you be reading this book? So basically, read this like a story book. It's like a user manual, how your whole body functions. Just read it. Read it according to your theory exam, just read it. Just read this and go to the exam. Will definitely pass, no doubt in that. I did pretty decently in most of my exams, and I actually believe that I have a really good, strong conception and understanding of physiology thanks to the idea. So read this book and do this. That's it. And coming to the practicals, this very important thing is that do your practicals very, very well because all the practicals in physiology will be used throughout your life. We have repeated the very same experiments and the very same practicals that we did in first year. So make sure to do the practicals properly. So you don't really need to have any other reference books. That's uh, you can just use this guide done. and you can maybe see the marrow videos also. The physiology videos of marrow are apparently good. Some people have told me that it's good. Some people have told me that it is not really great. You can definitely give it a try. I haven't personally used marrow much. I have just watched two or three videos during my first year. So you can uh, give it a try with uh, marrow or some other coaching institute videos also. They'll definitely help. And there are also some other amazing YouTube channels for physiology. Just take. Good lectures for physiology, then you will get a ton of videos, ton of amazing videos throughout internet. Uh, so make sure you check the check them out also. And this is a playlist in which I have talked about how to how to lead your life in MBBS. Everything about MBBS I have put in this playlist. So make sure you check it out. And as always, thank you for watching. See you soon.